and uh, we want to serve everyone well by figuring out what caused this so it never happens again. The investigation into what caused Saturday's deadly crane collapse continues. The tragic accident bringing traffic to a complete halt on one of Seattle's busiest roads. But today, Mercer Street is back open to traffic. We have team coverage this afternoon, starting with Tony Black. A big relief for drivers is they did not have to try and find an alternate route for their Monday morning commute. SDOT was able to open up this Mercer Street exit here just before 4.30 a.m. Also, WASHDOT crews were able to open up the southbound Mercer Street off-ramp, allowing drivers to continue on through Mercer and Fairview Avenue here. Now, the question becomes, how were they able to get these roads open so early after initially telling people that they would probably have this road closed for the Monday morning commute? Well, in a tweet that they sent out before 6 a.m., SDOT said that private contractor crews worked overnight to clear the debris from the building struck by the collapsed crane while SDOT crews were working to repair damage to the road before the Monday morning commute. So a big relief for drivers as they did not have to try and adjust their morning commute tra uh, travels while they were trying to deal with getting this road back open following Saturday's crane collapse. Here in South Lake Union, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News. And crew spent yesterday taking the remaining pieces of crane off of the top of the Google building. Work is also underway to secure the area. And investigators are beginning to piece together how it happened, thanks in part to eyewitness video. Here's King 5's Vanessa Mashanya. Investigators here have a very difficult, long road ahead of them, trying to piece together what exactly happened Saturday afternoon that caused that crane to fall. Two things that are going to help them out very much are pieces of video from witnesses on the scene that tells the story of what happened that day, and we have acquired those pieces of video. First, take a look at this dash cam footage. It was shot Saturday afternoon by Scott Gaines as he was going to work. He was coming off the I-5 ramp, oh. heading to Mercer Street. Now look to the right side of your screen. The crane, as it's being dismantled, begins to move. Moments later, the crane comes down. It strikes the side of the Google building, crashes onto Mercer Street, as well as tumbles to the other side of the street. Now we do not show the impact out of respect for the families of the victims. Now here's another piece of video that's going to be crucial in this investigation. It's a time lapse that was shot by a man named Bruce Kashmir, who's staying in the area in one of the surrounding buildings here. He said he started filming this around noon because he said something just did not look right to him. So you see those two iron workers attaching a part of the crane to a hook from a second assist crane. Now note the rig, it is swinging and swinging wildly. That is not supposed to happen. Experts that we've talked to over the weekend say that gusts of wind were most likely to blame for that. And those at the wooden boat center on Lake Union, just behind the scene of the crane collapse, they remember how strong those wind gusts were Saturday. It was definitely hectic. I mean, you know, we had, nobody was really prepared for it. You know, yeah, we saw it coming on the radar, but definitely did not see it coming as intense as it did. Something else to note here, while the crane was being dismantled Saturday morning, Mercer Street was open to pedestrians in traffic. Now we asked uh, the State Department of Labor and Industries about that. They said there is no state law regarding road closures around construction sites. And as investigators are looking into those pieces of video evidence, they're also going to be questioning the four construction companies involved with this site. In Seattle, Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 News. Our coverage doesn't stop here. You can find out the latest details. You can text the word crane to 206-448-4545 and we'll connect you to our story on king5.com.